Topping our news at 5.30 now, a model and graduate of the new school is suing her alma mater for more than $10 million. She says the school used her image in ads without her permission. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has more now on this face-off. Um, Christine know, Walker graduated from the new school the in 2012. So when her picture was used in this ad promoting the school in 2013, she was shocked. My photograph ended up showing up on the trains like I don't know maybe 10 different trains subway trains and in the stations and I got word that it was in the Metro North newspaper uh, I found out it was on a pamphlet. Walker says she was the face of their campaign without her consent. I was really outraged because I never gave them my permission to use my photograph. The picture was taken during her Italian class when she was an undergraduate. My Italian teacher just said, you know, a photographer's in class, just uh, go about your business. Walker says no one ever mentioned what the photographer was taking pictures for, and no one ever contacted her to let her know her picture was being used. I immediately contacted an entertainment lawyer. Walker, um, a model and actress, says she's even more upset because her instant notoriety as the train girl typecast her and prevented her from certain auditions. I couldn't go on any kind of, it made me the student, you know, the face for the, for the school. So I was looked at as the student. Despite her face looking down in the ads, she says many people recognized her. A cease and desist letter was sent to the school. The ads came down from the website, but she says they continued to run on the subways. So now she's suing to the tune of $10.4 million. This is part of a larger problem in universities of, frankly, using undergraduate students for their own profit incentives. And, and Walker says she paid money to attend the school, so they should pay her for the work she unknowingly did for them. It's a big artistic university. They know what's going on, and they chose to single me out. Well, the new school had no comment. As for how they reached the 10.4 number, her lawyer says most of that is for punitive damages and meant to get the school's attention. Only about $375,000 of it would be for them. The rest, he says, would go to charity if they won.